Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. Um, I am making, oh, my wooden spoon broke. But I am making a requesón. What is requesón? It is cheese. Now, this cheese, you can, um, oh, hold on, I'm trying to get a different wooden spoon. Okay. This cheese, you can um, make the same way you can make ricotta, ricotta, um, or you can make uh, even mozzarella. It's just different techniques. In here, I have three quarts of milk. So what I'm gonna do here is that I'm going to allow my milk to come up to temperature. I want it to be. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna use a thermometer. What I want it to be, if I put my finger in it, right? Make sure you you have clean hands. You want it to be warm enough that if you leave your finger in there, it's gonna burn you. But you don't want it to boil. Do you follow me? And you're gonna be preparing this. I am going to be preparing it or cutting it with vinegar. Um, with vinegar. Probably about a little bit more than half of a cup of vinegar. But then after that's done, I'm going to rinse it. And, I, well, first I have to strain it. After I strain it, I'm going to rinse it. And after I rinse it, I am going to add a little bit of lemon to it. And this will, oh, and salt. And this will make like a song. I mean, I am not a big fan of like a song. My, my husband is, um, my friends are. But this is a requeson, and this is it. We're going to go ahead and, and allow this to do its thing. Now, I am going to tell you, um, if you don't mind, yo, hit that subscribe button. I need a thousand followers, and I am nowhere near. Um, hit that follow button, yeah, well, the subscribe button, and um, hit, give me a like. And, yo, and if you do this differently than me, then that's on you. This is the way my mama taught me. So this is how I do it. Now, why am I stirring it? Because you don't want the, the heat to burn or scorch the milk. That's why I am stirring it. And we're going to continue to do this until it is in temperature. By the way, I did forget to tell you that my heat, it's hot. You see it? It's at a medium. We're going to go ahead and add a half a cup and just a little bit more. And as soon as you saw that, you saw that this started to separate. You see it? Now what we're going to do is that we're shutting it off. Leave it alone. Don't talk to it. Don't look at it. Forget it's there. And we're going to cover it and allow this to chill and allow the the cheese to separate from the whey, which is that clear stuff on top. I want you to see how we have that separation. Now, for now, I'm using this type of strainer, and I'm going to go in and pick up the cheese carefully. Let some of that liquid come out of it, and I'm going to put it into a bowl. I'm then going to put it into a cheesecloth um, so that way we can make sure that we remove all that liquid. See, once you remove the liquid and it's just this, once you strain it, I have not added salt yet, but once you strain it, um, and get all the liquid out from the um, with the with the cheesecloth. Then what you want to do, and once you put a little bit of salt, that becomes your ricotta cheese. But I'm adding lemon to this one, so we're gonna continue to do this, and then I'll see you guys in the sink. In here, I have it's cheesecloth, but it's a battery, so I'm gonna add. 
the rest of the, uh, the all the cheese that we possibly can take out. Let me try to remove as much of this liquid as possible. Anyway, so we're adding all that all that cheese burned in there. And what we're going to do is carefully move it out of your thing. And we are going, it's still very hot. But we want to, you could, for now, you can hang it somewhere and let it do its thing by itself, which it, it'll do. But you want to, you want to remove as much of that whey as you want. By the way, you don't have to throw the whey out. I do. But you don't have to. You can use it for a bunch of different stuff. So, I'll be back. For right now, I am simply putting some cold water and I am just rinsing that cheese out. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Go rinse. You see how now the water doesn't, it's not running. Um, it's not running as as milky as it was before. After this, I'll show you the last step. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to remove the cheese that we have in here. Of course, some of it is going to get stuck to the bag. But you take out as much as you can. And then you, the good things about these bags is that you simply wash them and you have yourself a reusable cheesecloth. Cloth. I ordered this on Amazon. This is right now simply ricotta. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt. You add the salt to your liking and we're going to go ahead and hit it with half of a lime and we're gonna go ahead and give it a mix you want to taste it you can now if you want to make this into ricotta before adding the lime or just cut it with lime this would be your ricotta but and if you wanted to make mozzarella well i would normally use whole milk um at this point you grab it and you rewarm it and you need to start stretching it. But we're not doing that. So I'm going to go ahead. I keep dropping this. I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick, quick taste. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big. It needs salt. I'm just tasting because I remember my mother making this when I was a kid. Again, let me taste a little better. Let me add a little bit more lemon. And give it a stir. And now what we want to do is form it. Let's give it a quick taste. Okay. I still need salt. Now we want to form them. My mother used to form them into a big patty and they used to cut it into wedges. What I like to do, let me put on a second glove. What I like to do is form them into football shapes because that way um, everybody gets one and you don't have to keep cutting anything. Um, so what I do is that I take, take it in my hand and I form it into a football shape and you cover it in plastic wrap and you got yourself a requesón. What my mother used to do was she used to either press it, I'll give you for instance, I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to grab one of these, right? And my mother used to put it into something and form it, you know.
and that will be your cheese. So that will be your requesón. But like I said, I don't want to do that. Now I am going to form some into smaller little ones. And it's another method that you could do this, which is instead of doing them into little rounds, into little uh, football shapes, you make them into little rounds. And you have yourself cheese. You can get something to bring it, make it perfect, but I don't care. So these are your little cheeses here that I am making. So there you have it. I will show you the finished product once I have them wrapped. And here you have yourself regazón or home style cheese. You put it in the refrigerator and what happens is, I'm gonna show you, is that it's gonna get a little bit hard, okay? So this is one I made before. It's hard. Now what you could do here is when you're gonna eat it is that you can cut it. Try to use a sharp knife because these knives suck. You cut it and you got yourself cheese. You eat it just like that or put it over fruit or whatever you want. Anyways, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. It's super simple. God bless you. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. God bless you all. Bye.